okay, that's that's a big box. This might be a little much, but let's hope it's worth it. Welcome back to Taylos of Tech, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to you guys and your super generous donations, we get to truly experience what a smart speaker with a primary focus on sound quality is like. I'm very curious to try this out. And my God, this is probably one of the largest things we've unboxed on this channel in a long time. Maybe ever, considering like 15 inch MacBook Pro was, anyway, iMac Pro, hopefully we'll trump this one. I got this actually from Best Buy early. Google wasn't selling them when I pre-ordered it. And it was very bizarre because this thing, I just checked Best Buy, I didn't even read anything, and it was like, oh yeah, we'll ship it to you right now, why not? And Google didn't even have their website updated at the time. So let's see, here it comes, big boy. Oh my goodness, this thing is much, wow, this is expansive and heavy. This probably has some very good sound to it, I hope, it is quite large. Let me get this off to the side, lift it out. Wow, holy crap. I don't know why, but I imagined it was gonna be a bit more portable, but this is fine too. I actually like things being overkill. I love the color on it too. Man, it's like it's like a loaf of bread. It is literally the size of a loaf of bread. It comes with this little like rubbery pad here, which I believe allows you to stand it in different ways. So we can put one here. Yes, yes, on, on this side of the Google. Oh my God, Google Home Max. Attach base here for vertical orientation. So we can do this. Oh. And it'll stand up there very beautifully like that. It's got USB-C in the back and a headphone jack, unlike the Pixel phone. But it's a speaker, I guess, so that makes sense. It's surrounded with microphones. So let's put this box on the ground so we can have it vertically like this. Oh, and it's magnetically attached there. That's interesting. This is definitely the priciest smart speaker on the market, though, as well. But I'm hoping it is for a reason. This is this is like a metal design here. This is no plastic. This is no Google Home Mini crap. Let's let's try it this way too. We can we can drop it down like here. This all. Also looks good and we definitely need to hook it up and get a first impression on the sound quality right now. Comes with a white cable. Wouldn't it be kind of nice if it matched, but whatever. We've got a little tape tab here. We can peel. Whoa. So I believe this is a little touch panel here where you can adjust volume, which is interesting. And then this is also a piece of plastic. Okay, so you got microphones on the top here and then also microphones on this side, but not this side. So if you want to do it vertically, this is the, the this is the place to put it on. Okay. So we've got our little plug here. There's a mute switch on the back. And my god, I bet this thing is going to blow the walls down with its extreme volume just by the sheer size. Google even advertises this thing with like other Google Home Maxes. Like, I can barely imagine two of these going at once. Anyway, it's got that new Best Buy smell. Have you ever smelled a new Best Buy product? And let's hear this bad boy. Okay, we've got power. The lights are turning on there. Is it gonna do the little piano chime thing? About to find out, aren't we? Like the perfect size to be depressed on. Wonder if Google will demonetize this even though it's about them. This is an interesting fabric over the top. It's very rigid, but also soft at the same time. Okay, let me get the app out so we're ready to pair. Oh, oh, it's playing. What is this? Whoa, that sounds a little different than the mini, Welcome doesn't it? Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Will do, here we go. One device found, let's set it up here. So to set these up, you need the Google Home app, but if you've used a Google Home mini, I believe it pairs in the exact same way. Yes, we heard the sound. So let's get this set up and then we'll actually test the sound quality with some music. And of course, when the HomePod comes out, we're gonna compare it to this because they're about in the same price range. Although I think the HomePod is gonna be significantly smaller and a little bit cheaper, but yeah, it'll be nice to have have like two premium sounding speakers that are competing and also have the smarts. I'm, I'm actually really glad they don't have this in the coral color because we recently got the Google Home Mini that's in coral. It's not good, guys. Look at this. It's like an Advil pill. It looks like salmon meat. Like, who thought this was a good idea anyway? Now, I know a lot of you are like, this isn't Apple sheep. Drew, why are you buying this? Well, it's currently because Apple does not have a competitor to this yet. HomePod's not out, but when it is, I'm definitely getting it. And because you guys were so for sure about smart home appliances and having the Google ecosystem with all the different speakers. Oh, it already has an update right off the bat. It has updating office speaker now on it. What software is there? I mean, this is day one. The only people who got this before me are like YouTubers who get everything early. I don't get anything early. What do you guys think? How should we use this? Should this be a landscape speaker or a portrait mode speaker? Let's try it the other way just for fun. I kind of like this design with the magnetic base where you just kind of slap it down and then it magnetically attaches there. It, it's, that's kind of smart. Luckily this thing doesn't have pixel in the name so it's more okay. And there's dots that go both ways. They work that way or that way which is interesting because like if you never use it this way that means there's whole light sensors that are never activated ever. But yeah just with that little boot up chime, I could hear some serious sound. 
it's like extra epic. It sounds different than the mini. Google That's so assistant. cool. I'm here to help. I legit Remember thought that was a person. Do. Continue in the Google Home app. Okay, we don't need to get more emails. Okay, I think it's ready. What should we play? Hey Google, play Havana on the office speaker. All right, Havana by Camila Cabello. Playing on Google Play Music. Here we go, everyone. Hey. There's some. There's some copyright. Scroll on this thing. I don't know if you just scroll on the bar part. Oh, I, I believe you can scroll on the entire thing. Can you start from like here? Okay, the, the trackpad part of it for adjusting volume starts right here. And adjusts. Oh god, that's loud. My goodness, it is very loud, but wow. Sound quality definitely sounds a lot better than the Mini, that's for sure. I don't think you were wondering that though, but I just kind of want to test volume for a second. Oh, wow, yes, it is definitely very loud. Using it in portrait is kind of weird to adjust the volume like this, but I guess we could do it in the app as well. And I'm sure with all of these different microphones, it activates from very, very far away. This will definitely go in the lobby at the office here. So I'm excited to see how loud this thing can get and just kind of have background audio. But man, this is cool. Um, expect a review on it soon, as well as with all the other Google Home Minis I've been getting and the smart home appliances. Very, very cool. Nice to finally have some premium sound quality it's definitely got some weight to it. It's, it's safe to say I have never been this excited for a Google product ever in my life. <laughs> Sounds great though. Thank you guys for donating and for making this possible. Let me know what kinds of things you'd like to know about the Google Home Max. And of course, when the HomePod is available, it'll make quite an interesting comparison video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have an excellent day. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.